What's going on everybody? It's Trey Neal here with Trading Stocks and today's video is going to be an explanation of how you can really backtest your edge using the strategies tool in Thinkorswim. If you have no idea what the strategies tool is, if you have no idea what's going on in the screen up here, why there's trades being taken and all this stuff and this PL down here, I'm not going to take a lot of time explaining that in this video. I will link the video that I have explaining it should pop up now up there in the top right of your video if you'd like to click that and watch it first. Uh, but for now, I want to teach you all how to actually make use of this data and process it because it's great. It's great to write a strategy, see how much money it's made over a period of time. That's great. Obviously, amount of money made is the most important statistic. That's the one you care about the most, of course. But there's other things you really do need to be looking at. You need to pay attention to the maximum drawdown of the strategy. You need to look at biggest winner, biggest loser, average winner, average loser, win percentage, huge one that you're just not getting here from the strategy from thinkorswim studies so i'm going to show you guys how to take the information you are getting from thinkorswim and to get it to actual processable data that you can start to mess around with you can start taking deeper dives into your mechanical edges so hopefully you're excited for it hit like if you're new around here you want to learn more about mechanical edges hit the red subscribe button with that being said let's go ahead and just start. So if you didn't know already, one thing you can do and one thing you're gonna to need to do for this, if you right click any of your entrance or exit bars, so really any strategy arrow here, uh, if you right click this, there's an option to show report. So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start on show report. Obviously what this is doing is it's pulling up every trade the strategy has taken. I'm currently running, my strategy is a one minute strategy against the SMP that I'm testing looking at over the last 30 days so this is every trade my strategy has taken over the last 30 days with some useful information here right i mean it's got your it's got your p l it's got your running p l or your, your sorry your individual trade p l your running p l uh the time date and time obviously so it's some useful information in here and if we scroll down to the bottom it accumulates some of these statistics right it gives you max trade p l total p l and total number of orders it gives you some statistics right you're still not seeing though that win percentage that average winner average loser maximum drawdown things that are important that you need to know inside of your edge more than just how much money did it make um so what we're gonna do obviously the next logical step here is to go ahead and hit export file right um so i'm going to go ahead and name this video test two because i may or may not have already made a video test for this video and decided to redo it because i didn't like the first go around um but i made that file now we have an exported file uh, an exported csv file so obviously we're going to come into microsoft excel OneDrive, go away please uh we're going to go to find that file so file open browse and it is already on all files here's my video test two that i just loaded in we're going to go ahead and hit open great now we have that that information out of thinkorswim into excel where we can start to work with it right we can start to do calculations to figure out any any information we want i mean data manipulate well not manipulation but data processing here figure out any information you want right which is great which is where you want to be but look at it, it it's, it's it's really ugly right it's just a csv data dump tray what do i do now a lot of you guys have probably gotten to this step i know i was at this step and i got stuck for a while that's why i'm making this video to hopefully help some of you guys move forward uh, throughout your processes so i'm going to show you what i do i'm going to try to take it slowly but i'm going to show you what i do here so first thing i do i grab the b column i cut this out and i just so i just hit Control x there to cut it and Control v just to paste it a little bit further over just giving ourselves a buffer room uh where there's two there was two columns of data there right your a column is all of this your b column was all of this just move that over because what we're going to do is get these into each individual columns the way we're going to do that now highlight the a column you're going to come up to the top I recognize right now that you all can't see the top. Aha. Uh -huh. Mid video editing my scene. That's a professional right there. So you're going to come up to the top. You're going to hit the data tab. You're going to hit the text to columns button right here. And this is where you're going to be able to make this start looking way less ugly, right? So you're going to choose delimited next. I think, well, actually, I know it'll be, it'll, it'll look like this when you come to this tab. So you're going to unselect tab and you're going to select semicolon. We want to delimit our semicolons. Once you've done that, that's it. Go ahead and hit finish. It's going to give you, there's already data here. Do you want to replace it? Yep. I want to replace it. And now look, 
we immediately already are starting to see what's happening here, right? We're starting to see that now we're getting these columns in useful Excel format that we can start to process, we can start to do calculations on, right? Uh, the next step, I insert a column here because for whatever reason, it has this column as date and time when in fact the time is actually over here. But now what I'm gonna do, same thing, grab this, text to columns, delimit next, semicolon, finish, bang. Now you have this delimited out as well. You can go ahead and grab all this, cut and paste. Bada bing, bada boom. You have your, I don't, why did I just do that? You have your data in usable format, data that we can really start processing now. You can see how they're split out. We can really start to see what we're looking at here. Now, the next thing that I do, this is up to you, but I wanna clear out kind of, you see half of these, half of these uh, rows are just where it's entering the trade, not actually you know where it's exiting and taking the actual P&L additions and stuff. So the next thing that I do, once again, you feel free to not do this if you don't care, but I grab this column, I hit filter, I go ahead and I unselect both of my opens. So I am buying and shorting, but any of your two opens that are in your strategy, I like to get those out of the way. Uh, so what I do is I filter those to this, I grab them all and I delete those rows. So those rows are now all gone. Now it'll just be the rows that are actually closing the trades. Uh, so they're actually, first off, you get a real count of how much, how the number of trades you took because the ID was obviously doubled um, as, as it was counting both the open and the sell. And second off, it's just cleaner to look at now. It's just easier to look at. It's easier to do calculations with. And then once again, now I'm not gonna super deep dive into this because I would like you guys to do this yourself, figure out what kind of information you want to figure out. Do you want to calculate win percentage? Do you want to calculate your min, max, all this? I'm just going to do a simple one though, but this is what you can start doing now, just as an example. Let's just see what the maximum trade was. Grab this, max of that, 98.63 was the biggest trade that I took. We can quickly do what was the smallest trade that I took. Just grab the minimum, and once again, this, these are very simple and these are not all you need to be doing, um, but that's the kind of stuff just as an example you can start doing now right you can start actually processing this data start to pull information start to develop graphs charts whatever you want to do whatever you can find to do in excel and i'm excited to see maybe some of you guys have comments of what you all do with this data would be really helpful and might help other people out might help me out um there's everybody's got everybody's got great ideas of their own right so that is that that's how you get the data into usable form now the next thing i want to tell you guys is the one downfall, I would say probably the largest downfall of the Thinkorswim as a back testing tool, as a strategy testing tool, on for okay, I, let me let me start it this way for day traders, right? If you're swing trading, if you're testing it on the daily, you can go back as far as you want. The daily chart lets you go back as far as you want. But for me, I'm creating a one minute strategy. I'm creating a strategy that's trading on the one minute chart. Thinkorswim only allows you to go back thirty days on a one minute chart. If I flip this up quickly here just to 90 days you can see i don't even have the one minute option anymore so i want more information than just 30 days you need more data than just 30 days because 30 days while it while it you know might sound like enough might sound like a lot could could still just be a fluke right you you really want longer back tests to be able to really verify and start trusting in your strategy but thinkorswim does provide us with a tool a way we can work around that and that is this fun on demand button up here so actually i need to look at my data what was the first date so this data this this strategy started pulling data from january 21st that is the earliest it started pulling data from so i can use this on demand button i can go back to january 21st click that click go um, we're actually already there because i was doing it on my the last cut of this video but uh now we are going to be getting the information as if it was January 21st. And that's going to allow us to, once it loads, um, pull this in, it has loaded now. Now we can pull the same report that we did before, but now we're getting it for 30 days back again, right? So now I have 60 days of one minute data and you would just do the same thing we did with the first, right? You would export, you would go do the delimiting tool, uh, and then you would add that information, you would add the columns that you have delimited and laid out ready to process obviously keep a running tally in an excel sheet with that and that is how you can begin 
ending up with an image like this, right? You guys have seen this image a couple of times on my YouTube channel now, but this is my strategy over a 12 month time period on the one minute chart because I did, it was like eight or nine times. It was, it was a little bit arduous work, not necessarily hard, but a little bit time consuming work. Uh, but you can start to get real elongated proof of concepts, right? That really, really give you a lot more, a lot more faith in your own strategy and your own mechanical edge. So hopefully that was, hopefully this uh, video has been useful to you. You got to see how to take the strategy data into useful information, how you can start calculating and graphing and tabling that information. Um, and then I gave you the, how you can back test for longer than what uh, thinkorswim limits you to inside of your time frames using the on-demand tool so hopefully you did find this information useful hopefully this helps you all start to define your mechanical edges and helps you all make more money in the stock market uh, if you did enjoy it hit the like button please and if you are new around here you're interested in learning more about mechanical edges uh that's what we do what we talk about here on this channel plus i show you all my trades live so hit the red subscribe button if that sounds interesting to you with that being said I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one.